Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ant of the Gunge Beat the Gunge episode 100. Oh my goodness, it's the 100th episode of Beat the Gungeon. Feels weird to do a special celebration because we just did a celebration for our thousandth Gungeon video in general. <laughs> Ant of the Gungeon video in general, but here we are. We, I, what are we doing today? We're going to do something slightly a little bit special. I have celebration fatigue, but we are going to do a 100 episode special, and by that I mean we're just going to play Rainbow Mode on uh, on Saturday. Because why the heck not? You know, I feel like it, it makes it's like, it's like a it's the celebratory mode. It's the it's the song of our people. We do need one kill pillar left, and we're going to do the game we always do. We are paradox, so we are going to before we pop on into the dungeon, we're going to guess our weapon and our passive. If we get one right, you you're forced to like. If we get two right, you're forced to support on Patreon. If we get none right, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. All right. For our weapon, I'm going to say... Uh, dueling pistol, and I'm going to cry. And then for our passive, I'm going to say... Hot lead. Uh, let's say hot lead, hot lead and dueling pistol. Sounds like a, a, a terrible buddy cop duo does this count phoenix is kind of hot lead in gun form <laughs> Ooh. oh gilded bullets gilded bullets on uh <laughs> on rainbow mode is pretty darn spicy if you ask me because you don't really care about money you know like well yeah it's not going to really be that effective early on but uh, it may be effective, you know, it will, it will be effective late game. Because it's just money is not that important. Like, when I spend money, it's usually because I'm just like, yeah, who cares? Might as well because it has no other use. I might as well use it. But, uh, you know, I think we'll be able to get by the end of the game. 500, quite easy, especially if we do go to the extra floor, which we are set to do. We did unlock that extra path over there. Whoop. Bip, 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 bip. I feel like I would be remiss if I did not uh, do the obvious shout out of the series that you already know about, just because it's uh, it's a special time, and that's the fact that uh, Exit the Gungeon is indeed out on PC and uh, and Switch for you to play. And they've been, uh, you know, and I just want to say once again, if you have uh, if you checked it out and you're like, you know, it doesn't quite seem for me. Let me tell you, first of all, if you checked it out in the original Apple Arcade version, it's been super polished super changed since then and honestly if you actually checked it out at release they've done two uh, at the point of this recording they've done two updates and they've been doing uh, at least one a day that have been polishing the game out and making it even better so truthfully like if you've uh, if you took a, sh a shot on the series or took a shot on the game and you were like eh, it's not quite for me i do actually quite urge you to go take a look and see what they've uh, what they've done, they, they balanced out a lot of issues I've had that have just really rounded out the uh, the game feel. Just a, just a couple minor changes, and most importantly, what it shows is that they're uh, they're they're in it. They they said that they would like to they're planning on doing content updates for it in the same way that they did for uh, for Enter the Gungeon. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say in the same way for Enter the Gungeon because I don't. They didn't confirm that it'd be the same way, but they said they're going to do con content updates, not just. Uh, they used, specifically used the word content instead of bug fixing and stuff like that. So that's pretty darn exciting. I forgot that you can dodge roll over this. It's so weird. Woo! It's like the only platform or the only thing you can dodge roll over this. Not a, not a flipping, flipping table. Speaking of flipping tables, I hate this item with a passion. And I also want money. So it's a very, very easy choice right there. Conserve money. Pop on over. But, you know, since we're we're in the beginning of the episode, we're in the territory where we don't have a lot of items, don't have a lot necessarily specifically game-wise to talk about. That's why I usually do kind of these uh, PSA update uh, type things. If you don't know, another thing. If there's another thing you don't know called the fact that uh, we've been doing a live, sh uh, a live show on Twitch every Wednesday, you should uh, go check it out. Rito and Raps Live, we've been doing it, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been... Uh, Truthfully, truthfully, if you're if you're not catching it, I think you're missing out. In the last stream, we did uh, exit the gungeon, 
and then we followed it up with Spelunky, and then we ended it with uh, with Round Guard, which is it literally if it, it's if Peggle was turned into a roguelike. And if that sounds interesting, it is. You should definitely definitely go check out that. We've been doing it for uh, about a month now. About a month now, I think. With the last one was the rounds it out every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. And if you miss the stream live, I do have a second channel. Rito uh, does games. Heck in a handbasket. Rito does games, and you can catch any uh, Twitch stream that you missed live in uh, VOD form on YouTube. AKA, you can just treat it like it's a freaking YouTube series. Because uh, maybe you hate Twitch. Maybe you don't like the purple they use in their logo. Maybe you're against everything they stand for. I don't know. Whatever the reason, it's on YouTube. Rito does games. R E T O does games. Link in the description, I think. <laughs> I think there's a link in the description. I'm pretty sure I put one there for it. the end of the Gungeon series like a couple months ago, and I never took it out. <laughs> it's There's either, I can't remember, whatever's at the top right now will probably stay there for an extra month. The top one, it's either, uh, <laughs> it's either for Rito Does Games or it's for the Patreon. One of the two. One of the two. Crack open a cold water game. We're in it. We're in it. Okay. Obviously, like, we see the kiln, we're taking the kiln. If you don't know, it's the last item that we have unlocked that we haven't picked up. My heart says railgun, but my heart also says magic sweep. I want a weapon. My favorite, like, I, I just, I really do like, if I'm just doing rainbow mode, it's usually because I'm like, you know what, I just want to have a goofier less focused run but like I just want to focus on getting you know you, you have more choice in what you pick up like th there's less less RNG in rainbow mode there's less RNG because it's mitig it's mitigated imagine you uh, you get less chests but you are Isaac from the Bonnie of Isaac you have the d6 item aka ring, I guess ring of the resourceful rat you know, you get to do it on every chest like seven times. That's effectively the situation that you're, you're offered. It's a really, really, really nice situation. Oh. Is it like, I mean, the thing is, if every single chest was a rainbow chest, yeah, then it would be like busted OP. I think rainbow mode is effectively just, it's a nice mode that is easier than your normal mode. And lets you kind of... I, I feel like I'm way more likely to be able to uh, test out goofy ideas in rainbow mode. And I've always been that uh, kind of a... That kind of a gamer. You know, it's always been me where I've just been like... Uh, you can check the Wizard of Legend series I did. You can check, like, all the custom Gungeon runs that I do. I'm very much like a the themed run guy. Like, if I can help it... I want my runs to have themes, and like I'll, I'll maybe even go as far as to play in them, like in a way that might not be the strongest for the run or suboptimally, like not increase our chance to to win if it means that we get to see something goofy happen. That's usually where where I'm at. It's where I'm obviously at in Enter the Gungeon. It's where I got to in kind of like in Wizard of Legend. Uh, I'd say too. I got to that point in Hades. We definitely have some uh, some thematic runs over there in that series, which is a very very fun series. If you've not seen that, and oh my god! And now that we warp in uh, Dead Cells, I'm hoping that uh, that's that's a that's my spoiler spoiler blocker. I think that we're gonna be getting there too. I think we're gonna be getting there too. Oh my god! I'm almost surprised there's like no dead s dead cells reference in this. It seems like it's got I don't know. It doesn't have a ton of doesn't have a ton of indie game references. It definitely has quite a bit. Like don't get me wrong, it has quite a bit. It is reference heavy to the extreme, but like the amount of them that I guess that are indie games, I guess is relative relatively small. Like there's one. Eh, two, three, uh, yeah, yeah, there's some here, I'm sure, right. mm. 
Like, it, there's references. It's a reference of Palooza. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, yeah. As far as pulling from other indie games go. Yeah, there's another one. I feel like I, I'm sure I skipped over some. Stardew. Other indie games go. It's it, it's on it's on the minimal side. Yeah. It, it exists. There's like lots of movie references, lots of uh, larger game references. I know there's some animes references. There's some TV show references. Like I need to, I need to know. I need to know who, who, uh, who got the community reference in the sh in the uh, the game for the Laser Lotus. I need to know. I need to, I need their name and number stat. Stat pronto. Oh my god. You know what? We should probably stop using it. It's like it's rainbow, but it's it's hard. It's rainbow mode. You, you pretty much are forced to use a single weapon pretty much. You just want to use the big thing. I want to use the big gun, you know? It's it's chunky, it's huge, it's nice. Cool tip, it's laid back. is the annoying one but we did it ah yes <laughs> very worth it very very worth it I feel like I'm not even gonna bother shooting to try to find a secret room we only have seven shots I'm gonna say nah I'm gonna say nah but anyways you know like on uh, how many it's like uh, roughly almost a week ago now what six six days ago we did the thousand episodes special, so it's like, like I said, I got celebration fatigue. I need a little bit before I do a big boy celebrate of it again. But uh, then we obviously like kind of celebrated the whole Enter the Gungeon series. But this is this is a sub goal. This is let's take a moment and let's talk about something a little bit more specific. We'll talk about the uh, Enter the Gungeon Beat the Gungeon series. This is this has truly been fantastic. It's I think it's on track to being uh, one of. Uh, one of the best Gungeon series I have viewed, like, per se for the first episode. So that's, like, that's really fantastic. That's... I didn't think that was going to happen when I did this series. I thought this would just be, like, a, you know, a smaller subsection. But, like, it's getting to the point where, yeah, there's, like, a lot of people checking in. A lot of people who are getting help. A lot of people, like, every other day I get somebody new telling me that they uh, are using this series for help. And that's... I... I just, I love that. I'm so excited. Anything I can do to help get more people into this game. If the barrier to entry is high because the game is, it seems, okay, we got some tough choices here. Like, the barrier to entry might seem high. Oh, heck. You know what? Let's actually do this. We do get the, uh, we get the Phoenix synergy that way, too. Um, the barrier entry seems high, you know, and it, and it kind of kind of is compared to uh, a lot of other indie games Like it, it's a it's a task. Don't get me wrong. It is a task to uh, to beat the gungeon And that's why like but I think it's a worthy task and I think it's a really like a, as far as you know It was as far as beating games go. I think it's a fulfilling task Because we always talk about it. There, there's less RNG in enter the gungeon than other roguelikes there's not no RNG, but there is less RNG. It is a more skill-based, skill-based uh, chance. Like, whether you win is more based off of your, your skill than other roguelikes. That is just, I think, true. Obviously, not every single roguelike, but, like, any, any basically every single one, you can get to a point where you could win every time. I don't know about it. Slay the Spire at Ascension 20. Uh, you can be so good that you win like a really high percentage but there's I, I do know there's on good authority that Ascension 20 and Slay the Spire can throw some garbage at you I know that but even even so and I think like you know Dicey Dungeons got more RNG in it you know like especially like yeah I mean card Dicey Dungeons isn't a card game you don't have a deck that you draw from so there's not RNG in that way but there's always uh, whenever you add cards to a game and a deck you do add, you know, you're, you are adding RNG. <laughs> That's always funny to see. You are adding RNG, you know, whatever you draw is RNG. 
But compared to Binding of Isaac, I would say, like, and I'm not saying, like, whenever I said, when I said this last time, I was sort of like, yeah, well, if if this has more skill to uh, to win than Isaac, why does Sinvicta have a streak of this many? You can get to the point with, is what I'm talking about, you can get to the point with any game where you can win despite the RNG, but what I'm getting at is you can get a run in Isaac that you can win without, like, looking at the screen. You can't do that in Gungeon without, like, Without a very specific clone run, maybe? Maybe with a very specific clone run, you could get a run where you could literally hold down the left mouse button when you enter the room. Like, it, it, the amount of runs I've had like that are maybe like, I probably had two. And in Isaac, I feel like I've had, I played Isaac like half, a third as much, half as much. And I feel like I've had like, you know, like 20 or 30 of those. That's that's all I'm getting at. That's all I'm getting at. You can be carried by RNG. You can be slapped by RNG more in Isaac too. You can, like, especially if you're doing, um, especially if you're playing as, you know, Eden or something, the fact that you can't drop items in Isaac makes it so you can be slapped by RNG worse. The fact you can get, like, a uh, Curse of the Blind, which is, if you don't know about Isaac, it makes it so every item on the floor, you don't know what it is. You can just choose to pick it up or not, but you cannot ever drop it. So imagine... God, imagine if, for example... I, I'll just make it Gungeon style. Imagine if eye patch reduced your accuracy, like, three times as much. Like, when I shot this, there's a chance that it'd be going, like, up there, you know? Imagine if you pick that up, and then you couldn't ever drop it. You know, that's that's being screwed by RNG. You're more likely to be screwed by RNG. You're more likely to be carried by RNG. You just there's more RNG swing. There's more RNG swing. The delta is uh, delta's bigger. And that's all I'm getting at. That doesn't mean that Sinvicta can't have a streak. You know, like it, it's completely irrelevant to to the situation. And then there, but I'm not saying Isaac is uh, yeah not as I think you can't be screwed by RNG as much as you can like Slay the Spire. Because I think that someone having that big of a streak in Ascension 20 Slay the Spire, I think is like unheard of. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, oh my god, I did not know that that guy was still alive. But I think that's a, a lot of times a really good judge. A really good judge of uh, how, how much it is skill-based is uh, how high the streaks can get for someone who's played quite a bit. Because it's like, if, if you truly could get slapped by RNG as much as everyone says, I would have lost in this series, you know? I would have I would have died in this series if it, you truly can lose exclusively because of RNG. Because I've had some bad runs, like bad RNG runs. And another thing that it does come down to that I wanted to teach with the Beat the Gungeon series, and that's the thing that I've been talking about a lot, and that's what I'm talking about it now, is because it's kind of been like... It's been the, the theme, like, of the series. It's like, not blaming the game. Like, n no, it's not necessarily the game's fault. Yes, the game can throw some rough stuff at you, but you can do it. You can do it. It just requires, like, you know, maybe some, some time. And that's, and that's great. And a lot of you have come to me and said, and a lot of you come to me and proven that by saying, like, I started out with the series. I watched the series. I, I learned some tips, I learned tricks, I learned what items you like are worth purchasing, I learned, you know, maybe even some items that are worth dropping. Okay. Oh my god, this is... I hate this chest! I hate this chest, oh my god. That is such a... it's too good, like, way too many good things, but Scattershot is like a... Scattershot's an infinite pickup for me because it's just, uh, it leads to goofy situations. It leads to goofy situations more often. Uh, and I feel I feel like these rainbow modes are a good uh, insight into that kind of a mind. I'm not always picking what I think is truly the best. Like, what is the best there? Honestly, yellow chamber's pretty darn busted. Explosive rounds are really good. And in almost any chest, I would take explosive rounds. But there was just too many good things there. There was just too many good things there. But it's it's been really exciting to see everybody saying, like, yeah... So, uh, here's my question of the day. Question of the day. For those of you who are actually using this series, I know not everybody is using this series this way, 
as kind of like a, have been using it as a helper. Where were you at with your Gungeon career or whatever when you started watching and where are you now? In the comments below. Where well, where were you? Were you brand spanking new? Were you having issues with getting past X floor? Uh, where are you now? I'm, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. Comments below. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're doing a we're doing a check-in. It's a check-in episode. Wop! See, that's the other reason I got scatter shot. I think there's a synergy with the railgun. I don't remember what it is. I really don't remember what it is. I wouldn't really kinda like to get uh, Holy Grail. I feel like Holy Grail is always a no-brainer pickup on um, on rainbow mode. The problem with Holy Grail is like, you need to unlock it. That that is truly that's truly the big problem about uh, Holy Grail. It's the only problem about Holy Grail, really. It does take a. I think you have to what beat the advanced dragon. That's no. It's no easy feat. It can be done with a pretty easy with a broken run. It can be done pretty easy with a broken run. But boy, that fight it is not fun. Okay, we got pull there. All right, just don't even look. Don't even look. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Look at that. Ooh, little did I expect that this was gonna become so cool with scatter shot. Each shot does still leave the the fire trail, and it does give you fire immunity by holding it. If you switch off of it, you do lose it. So I think that, you know what? It's kind of like a, it's an all-in-one fossilized gun combo that you don't have to fire and then reload to activate. I'm here for it. And and it has actu an actual bullet that does damage. Ha-cha-cha. -cha, this is actually kind of nice. I'm really, I'm really pleased with my decision so far. It also looks like it gives it uh, Pearson. Pearson. Womp, 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 womp. I like it. I like the situation a hell of a lot. My question, though, is if the Phoenix has another synergy that's making it better, because I know that that does happen. You know? Sometimes you're like, oh, this is working really well. Because of the uh, the one synergy, but there's actually multiple ones working in tandem. Like, the laser light show for... Um, the laser light show for... What is it called? The uh, laser rifle. I couldn't think of it because it was so basic. It, it's it's really cool, but I think it gets even better. It seems it seems like it's even better when you're a gunslinger. I don't know, but I don't know if there's more than one synergy. I'm, I'm, I think there might be. Heck, this ain't going so great. Oh, boss damage cap. You make railgun not feel as strong as it should. Truly, truly. Doink. Doink. Switching to this so we can walk through the fire without worrying about it. Like a last second uh, fire immunity little ring or something. Here comes the stinker shot. No! It doesn't matter really. There's no, ach no achievement even for being the old king without getting hit. They wouldn't do that to you. Up, 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 up. Clean it up. All right. I think we're out of here. Uh, I don't really want to go back and spend money. No three barb. All right. Scatter shot. There's a lot to think about. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I mean, laser light show is right there, obviously. But this is just a huge damage up, and we just picked it up very little. It's like a huge, 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 huge help. I believe it gives you attack damage, boost stats, uh, move, attack damage, and movement speed. It might give you another thing. I don't know. It's I've had it very uh, for a very small amount of time. I never had it unlocked on my main profile. Never, never. 
I never did. I feel like this should actually do a really good job of revealing the rat room. So I'm gonna definitely, oh, well, there you go. Should reveal it pretty darn easily, right? Yep, it's in there. It's in there somewhere. We'll come back to it. <laughs> we'll come back to it. How's everybody enjoying Animal Crossing? Holy moly. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of my work. That's spoilers. I'm in the middle of my work day on the 20th. Spoilers. This life, my own life spoilers. <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle of my work day on the 20th. On 320, 2020. 320, 2020. So I got to wait until I'm done. Gotta wait until I'm done to hear it. The little lot. Uh, little Animal Crossing vocals. Uh, 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 we got four blanks. We can do it. Whoop. Whoop. Yep. Yep. Don't even bother. I don't care about shields or anything. I'm just, I want the big number. Now that we got the uh, number one, we are number one. That's yeah, no point in even doing it. We don't get an item. It'll just get me excited. That's all. It'll get me excited when I see the pop up and then I'll go over and then I'll be like, ah, shoot. Aw, oh, jeez. I think I, I think that's one difference I had is that I think I might have allowed I think I might have allowed the Lost Adventurer, and not no. I didn't. I didn't allow Winchester because the chests weren't allowed. The chests were the things that weren't allowed. So I think that I allowed Lost Adventurer. Uh, so then, therefore, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have allowed Sinner Grace. I, I did allow gunsling king yeah it was basically if it gave a if it gave a chest I it wasn't allowed if it didn't give a chest it technically was allowed God, this is actually like <laughs> why is the Phoenix so good I mean I know why but like it's a redundant question but still like with all the damage ups we actually are probably in a better situation using this. Also, we got the lovely scene set for them. Because the faster fire rate will probably have a better better turnout with the the way the boss damage cap functions. Stupid. Shouldn't have switched. I just I switched up my brain power. All right, rat, rat, rat. Just walking out of the room to get the uh, Hegemona credits. I feel like every like couple weeks I get a new person telling me that you left all the Hegemona credits. So I'm gonna, this is your uh, monthly reminder that if you leave the room, they will be automatically vacuumed up to your body. So don't you worry. You can do it like that. You can save yourself a whopping 10, five, two seconds. A whopping two or two to five seconds after every boss by not bothering to pick them up because you will just get them. <laughs> you will just get them by leaving. All right, super meat gun seems pretty spicy. Just trying to think about synergies though. Uh, super meat gun spicy. Up, up, down, right, down, up. Up. Oh. Up, up. Oh. He's down. Yeah, this is a good run. This is a really good run. Next is right. Next is right. Oh. Down up. Oh, this will be a really good room to test it. Because these guys have so much HP, especially if these are jammed too. Yep, 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 this will be really good for the second phase of the rant. First phase? I mean, honestly, it might be good for the first phase, too. Uh, yeah, I'll probably use it. 
Phoenix for that, I guess. Right? Phoenix, right? Get it! Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I don't know if it's a good... What the hell is happening? Did you see that? The cheese was on the... Was absorbing on the right. Yeah, this is what I was saying. This is a bad idea. Can't see where the... Can't see where the lines are. I never realized how bad of an idea that is. Because I never use full... Full room covering fire weapons like this. One, because it messes my eyes up. Two, because it is a pretty easy way to tank the frame rate of your game. I'm sure this won't be much better, but like I feel like the contrast of the kind of like yellow. Oh no, it's so hard to see what's happening. The contrast of the uh, weird golden yellow is definitely easier than the all that fire though. I got a movement speed up, so I shouldn't need to uh, do any kind of dodge rolling. That was rough. Man. Oh. This is a uh, this is a little wild. Super meat gun. Wahoo. Stop it. Wap 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 wap. Go. Oh. I never know how to deal with that move because I never break both of his arms. <laughs> if you break both of his arms, he gets a new move. Um. Ooh, angry bullet sounds real fun with what we've got. Compressed air tank sounds real fun with what we've got. Don't mind if I do. No. Nope. Nope. No. No. If he hits you with that one specific punch, the one that he just hit us with, it doesn't knock out our stars, which is nice. Got the three star. I feel like it's enough. Yep. Hazmat suit. Ooh, now we get fire immunity even if we're not holding the Phoenix. That actually If it was if we were gonna get that any day, I'm glad we got it today. Wow. That's a lot of Now that's a lot of damage. Oop, <laughs> I never get hit by that. I never get hit by that. Come on, give me a parry. Okay. Yeet! Ah, uh, no, stop it! I saw you put that in my stinking rainbow chest. Twice now. I don't want it. Maybe even thrice. I'll pick it up and drop it. See if that helps. I know we're going to the fourth floor where we can sell it. Yeah, fine. We're going to the fourth floor where we can sell it. Fine. I answered my own problem. We'll sell it for money. We have the gilded bullets. It's just annoying. It's just annoying. Go. It's rainbow mode. We don't get anything from those. So we are out of here. And we're off. Interesting. Gunther is obviously. You know what? You know what? We, like, fine. Let's just do fight saber. I feel like it's a nice, fun weapon to use. It's got some synergy to it with the dang orb I know about. Like, obviously, there's the laser light show one we could get, and it is really, it's quite good. It's quite good. But it's just the, and obviously, Gunther is, like, if, you, if your goal is just to win, Gunther is the choice there. Like, this is a do as I say, not as I do moment. But, like, if we're going to be using Super Hot Watch for a bit, it's pretty fun to utilize with the fight saber. I will, I will admit that. It does make you feel kind of like a ninja. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, this is working well. 
The, the scatter shot plus the angry bullets at the same time is really quite nice. You saw that interesting thing right there where if you reflect a bullet that has no target anymore because they're dead, it just goes out in a random direction. Also, moment of truth floor about whether or not we get the, uh, the kill pillars today or not. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Du, 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 du. Thank you. Pop and lock. Sure. I do want to sell the uh, super high watch. Even though, yeah, we got the fun little combo. It's just... It bothers... Ugh. 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 It bothers, it bothers me, men like, with a weird mental, visual, dissonant kind of a way. I, I just don't know how to... I don't know how to explain it. I know there's a term for it. There's a term for it. And somebody will be a lovely person who says in the comments what that term is. But what, for, like, you get kind of motion sick because of, um... Because your brain expects something to happen. And then it doesn't. Kind of like how, uh... Eh, kind of like how you get car sick I guess it's kind of like that same sort of thing but a little, a little bit a little bit different because it's more it's not about uh, it's just you're not moving in the way that your brain thinks you should be moving and when especially when you play like a thousand two hundred thousand whatever hours of it into the gungeon and then all of a sudden your movement does not like your game doesn't move in the way you expect it makes me feel a little vomitous to be real I, I've been having an easier time with it recently for whatever reason. I don't know why. Don't know why at all. I've been hit for, like, weird situations. Don't know why at all, but it's still, it still does not sit right with me. That seems like Walmart, to be honest. It could be... That could be Kill Pillars. I feel like it's not High Priest. I feel like you usually seem to enter High Priest's room from the bottom. Well, there you go! Mm. Let's actually wait a second. So we can just do this. Because I don't want this item. Whether or not he even took it, I don't want it. Give me money. Yeah, it's a nice amount. How much we have? We got two in the bank. We might as well. We're effectively at max already. Like, well, as soon as you get to 400, the maximum is technically 500. But as soon as you get to 400, you're you're truthfully, basically at the max already, because of the dimin there's diminishing returns. You, you from going from 400 to 500, I think you gain like 5% damage error, which is as much as one junk as robot. It might even be less. <gasps> uh boy. Whoop. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. It's always fun to pop all of those suckers. Did we get hit before? At we got hit technically in the fight. Technically in the fight we got hit. You know what, gang? We're missing a heart. We're missing a heart anyway. Let's do this. See you, Nara. In we go. I think we take explosive rounds. Put our money where our mouth is from earlier. Where our mouth was earlier. Hmm. Oh, we got the damage. You've got the touch. Wow. <laughs> good deal, good deal, good deal, good deal. We don't... I love a good run where you truly get to... This is like... This is pretty close to that thing that I was talking about where you just enter the room and press left click. Except you do still have to dodge some attacks. I feel like... 
you still have to dodge some attacks. Like right there, this I do have to dodge, obviously. Bosses are not... The boss damage cap is another thing that makes it so he can't be stomped in the same way as uh, as Isaac. They want to pr preserve boss integrity. I understand like wanting some boss damage cap. I think Gungeons is a bit, a bit too restrictive. They did nerf it at one point. It used to be worse. It used to be worse, and it was really weird. That that God, that sucks to think about. Man, it used to be it used to be more restrictive. Ooh ooh ew ooh. I just I forgot about that. I think I suppressed that memory. I think they uh, I think they changed it in. Why did I take damage? I was reflecting. Strange. I think they changed it in A, G, and D. That's where they changed so much fundamental things. Like, A, G, and D is when the game went from, like, a game that I liked to a game... Well, no, I loved it already. But, like, from a game that I loved to a game that I found to be iconic. I, I always... Like, I, I've i said this before, but I, I use Enter the Gun as a, as a barometer for how polished and, like solid i think a roguelike is i think enter the gungeon is it's just it's phenomenal it's just it's crazy crazy how good it is to me like it's so good maybe it's just so good to me though i don't i mean no, wait, it's not but like maybe it's only that perfect perfect barometer for a roguelike for me oh man i'm what are the micro transaction gun synergies Micro transaction gun gun gin. If there's one that makes it so it fires without using money. Micro transaction gun damage is doubled. <sighs> it's gonna use up all our money though. But that could I uh, that damage could be pretty stupid. All right. We'll be we'll be careful. Okay. I I speaking of being careful. That wasn't. Yeah, that, 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 that. Like I don't know when we're going to use that. I probably should have just used blank bullets. But like we we always pick blank bullets. If I was picking for uh, for victory reasons, I would probably pick blank bullets there. Let's see, I would expect this to one shot. Cuz microtransaction gun actually does do pretty good damage on its own, and apparently it's doubled. Apparently it's doubled and we have the extra 500 casings. Microtransaction gun is good. The problem is it costs money. It, like, it, you know, it's good, but the resource is weird, you know? All right. I, really, I always say this. I wish we could fill up the microtransaction gun. I, I wish if you picked up an ammo, an ammo drop with microtransaction gun, it gave you, like, 10 casings, you know? I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. Heck, I wish, like, I almost wish if you, um... It'd be pretty cool if the microtransaction gun made it so if you picked up any consumable while you're holding it, you sell it. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. You could turn it into... Whoops. You could turn it into money that you would in turn... In turn, turn into, um... Into... You, 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 Weapon ammo. Weapon ammo. It does... Uh, if you don't know, it does actually unlock chests as well. It does do that. That's... That's really, really, really important to remember. And I, I forget about it a lot. But that's kind of because it's a it's a high-tier gun, I think. It's a pretty high-tier gun. Ooh, 50 piece. Pretty high-tier gun that I don't see very often. So I just don't think about it. But it is infinite keys, which obviously doesn't matter on rainbow mode infinite as long as you shoot at a chest once with it but yeah it's it's a i think it's an underrated weapon i think it's a severely underrated weapon but i think that it, you know it, it, it's it's niche it's niche you do need uh you need money to use it 
And a lot of times you don't want to just be wasting it willy-nilly, but that makes it a pretty decent weapon for bullet hell. Makes it a great weapon for rainbow mode. Because, like, look, at we're having an easy time staying over 500 casing. I'm, I'm using it, like, exclusively here. And we're staying perfectly over 500. Ain't even, ain't even hard. Oops. Ain't even hard to stay over. Oh, that's right. We're fire immune. I bet you if we uh, we spammed it throughout the boss, we'd have issues though. All right. We're already at full HP. Do we have anything that's actually? Someone always, like, someone's trying to convince me that compressed air tank goes through the boss damage cap. I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. No. If, if it did, if it did, we would have noticed right there. Play this down to 500. I know we could basically do this with any gun, though, is the thing. We could do the exact same damage, if not probably more. We're probably meeting the damage cap uh, smoother with this weapon, to be real. I bet you we are. That being said, on the heart, I think the microtransaction gun will be better. Because this is so good because it bounces around. It, you know, bounces around like wild. Ooh, or the compressed air tank actually is pretty good here. Especially with the scatter shot, we got these two. We'll, we'll, we'll do this to get these sharks. Uh, sharks are ready, and then we'll go right here. Get him, got him, good. One cycle, bam, ba, lamb. One cycle, bam, ba, lamb. What do we have for time here? We did a full sweep today, and we are at 46 minutes. Pretty good. We did the full sweep. You forgot to go to the Abbey. No, I did. I I forgot to forget to go to the Abbey, though. Yes, I did. I did forgot. I forgot to forget. What a fool I was. Ugh. Show me what is our final item. Ring of Triggers. I mean, if we could get Ring of Ah, oh, man, that would be cool. This is actually kind of dud-like. Dud uh, we don't need a weapon, is the facts. Like, Hyperlight Blaster is great. We don't need a weapon. Honestly? <laughs> eh. Ah, oh, jeez. Honestly? The compass is kind of what I want in my heart. You know, just getting through it quicker. Oh, man, what am I doing? What am I doing? Stupid man, stupid choices. I was still processing what I was picking and why, I guess. Yup, boy. I guess the Ancient Hero's Bandana is not really that great of a choice to get. It's an amazing item to get, like, a little bit earlier. We're probably not going to get a lot of ammo drops. But I guess one will go a long way. Da -da -da. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keep on getting hit in such stupid ways. Such stupid, stupid ways. Creep it up. Ooh. That was a that was a neat pattern. Kind of looked like a spirograph pattern. I kind of like that right there. That little thing where you put the you put the pen in the center. The colored pen or something in the center, and then you make it spin and then it makes a little design that you think is super cool and you'll hang up on your fridge for like a month. Whoop! But no longer! I would actually like HP or ammo or uh, or ammo at this point. I can H HP because I've done some dumb things. I just had done another dumb. Th I just assumed that that guy had to be dead. I assumed that guy had to be dead. I really do think exit is making me worse at enter. 
I think playing two similar but completely different games at the same time is it's it's, it's weirdly dissonant in my brain. Disjointed. We just need to play smarter. Because in, in exit, I think here's what it is. I think I figured it out. Exit, you kind of like have to be close to enemies. In enter, you really don't want to be close to enemies. If you can help it. Like nine times out of ten, you don't want to be close to enemies. I think that's actually the big, the big difference that I'm just now realizing. I'm just like rolling through enemies. That and Dead Cells. Like every other game I'm playing right now... Hades to an extent. Every other game I'm playing right now is about, kind of about getting up in their grill. Kinda. God, this is killer. This is so good, so good, so good. So good, so good. We have four blanks that we should use. I'm not going to get hit for the rest of the run. So, it's all fine. It's all fine. Now that I've analyzed my situation and discovered my problem, all is well. We're never going to take a hit for the rest of the run. Mark my words. Mark my words. We'll just be further from the enemy. Go figure. Especially since we have the uh, the railgun, which is oh, which is good, but uh, sometimes it bounces enemies into you that you don't want into you. Oh, ah, railgun me, railgun me. Well, gun me. Well, gun me. Yes, I'm stopping before the high note. <laughs> yes, I am. Absolutely. Good deal. We're cashing out. We're cashing out. <laughs> Heck. I do want to use this for this phase, and then we'll go back to using the uh, microtransaction gun for the final phase. Because otherwise, we'll start to get under the 500 mark pretty quickly. And I'm fine with it, because money means nothing to me. Whoop. You got four blanks. Why am I not using them? Four blanks can last the entire fight. Okay, thank you for having a blank for that. Malarkey! Malarkey! Get him, got him, good! Killing him with the merch. We might get hit again. Because I just want to... I want to be really close to him because we do have scatter shot. Whoop. Bop, 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 bop. But when I said I didn't wasn't going to get hit again, I meant I was going to get hit one more time in a BS situation. <laughs> Did you see that? The fire go... He's going to do it again? Yes! <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. I totally forgot we got the kill pillars done today. We're going to go back. And we are five episodes away from unlocking every item and enter the gungeon. We're going to probably try to goof a bit more and see if we can pick up the remaining items to showcase them a bit, talk about them a little bit, and then... Uh, then, we, then we're done, and we start the Mod the Gungeon series. And then, who knows after that? I've been kind of dabbling with, uh, with like a, trying to make, like a hard mode? Kind of design, designing like a hard mode, the same way 
I kind of I made the mode with the rainbow mode, and everybody seemed to like that. I thought maybe I could find the gunzang. Yes. I thought maybe I could. I maybe I could craft an interesting using mod the gungeon in an interesting hard mode that is like an interest an interesting challenge that isn't kind of like baloney in the same way that I kind of feel like the. So I sort of feel like the challenge mode in the game is right now. I, you know, feels a little baloney at times. I'll see if I can. I'll see what I can do. Maybe, maybe, maybe that would be a fun thing. Doing that or doing Eden streaks. Yes, I said Eden and not Paradox because Eden is a mod modded mode in one of uh, Kyle the Scientist's Isaac game modes mod, which is effectively Paradox except in addition to the randomized stuff you can get randomized stats. You could start with one HP and terrible movement speed. It's like, it, it could provide some interesting situations, I think, where uh, we'll, we'll be faced with choices that we normally wouldn't have to make. Like we would maybe pick up HP more, more quickly, or maybe we would highly prioritize movement speed or something, you know, we'll see. That's just, those are some of the ideas I have dabbling around in my brain. We have a long time to think about them because next up is Mighty Gungeon after this. But for now, thank you everybody for watching. Extra special thank you to DHex, Throbo, Nidelaric, and Justice Tom for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you see them ever in the comments, please give them a boy howdy thank you. Thank you very much. If you want to support on Patreon, join the Go Team Gungeon tier or any other tier to help support the channel. Even a dollar goes a heck of a way. Patreon.com slash Retromation. Link probably at the top of the description. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Thank you for a hundred episodes.